drugs, sex, jean jackets. These are words most associate with music festivals. But do they tell the whole story? What are you guys trying to accomplish? Wait, I'm trying to get a fucked up, roll some dick, like, I don't know. Tell, roll Wait. some of my dick off, like, I what, don't know. Uh, what does that mean, though, by the way? Roll some dick. I mean, no, roll your dick off just means, like, you're just rolling your dick off, your face off, just that shit like that. It didn't take me long to realize that the festival scene had a dirty underbelly of illegal drugs. I knew it was my obligation to society to find out more. Hey, you guys smoking doobies? Uh, no, not at all. Maybe. Yeah. One or two. Do you guys know where to get some drugs? Nah. No. Nah. What? No. <laughs> you know where? You know where we can get some? It was truly a problem everywhere I looked. So, I decided to go to the main man in charge to find out the true story. We're here with the founder of this music festival. Tell us, how do you keep, how do you keep kids off the drugs? Tiny, what's up? Say hi to Big Tiny real quick. Tiny, are you the security? Yes, sir. Hey, how do you do security when there's so many people that are obviously insecure? <laughs> what kind of question is that? The more I questioned, the more I was confused. The only thing that was becoming apparent was that these festival goers were truly an inspired people. Do you have any advice for a, a new festival goer? Yeah, just fucking party! Let's fucking party, boy! Woo! They're wearing no shirt, backpack. Nah, they're letting it all out. They're letting their backpacks out? They're letting their backpacks out, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Are we talking about school supplies? Oh, dude. There's a lot of school supplies in them backpacks. And some shit you would not want to bring to school. Where that lady was getting drilled with a, a, a sawzall. <laughs> she had a dildo on the end of it. <laughs> like this! <laughs> the atmosphere was lively. It was undeniable. So, I snuck backstage to speak to the musicians themselves. What is electronic music? It's a song you can email? It's a song that I can email. Exactly. Do you feel like it's tough coming up as white DJs? Do I think it's tough? <laughs> you know, that's a good. That's the first that's time I've been asked that question. I feel like that's more of a hip hop question, right? I, I haven't heard that ever for in the EDM realm. After a minute of palling around backstage with the musicians, I really started getting my comfort zone. Rhythm of the night. Sing it if you know it. Oh. I, <laughs> Rhythm of the night. Although I was having a blast with the common folk, it was finally time to utilize my unprecedented access to the headliners. Well, Uzi, hey, good catch. Hey, we're sorry about all your friends. We're sorry about all your friends. You might have to get a quick question. Everything in EDM, it's about the drop. Can you just tell me a little bit about these? It goes, poots, 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 poots. and at the very end, you're like, everybody, hands up, hands up, and then it drops. And you do that out of respect to the police? Hands up. Answer me this. They gave me they gave me a copy of your rider. And I have to ask, it was a pretty big rider, but what was the, the keg of O'Doul's and then the box of tissues and the uh, lotion for? And the hiking map of Northern Ohio. What was it? All right, and, and yo, what's, what is, what's next for you, bro? Um, Jergens and uh, and uh, tissues. It's gonna be a good night for Trippy Red. <laughs> Jergens and tissues. You never know what you're gonna find when you peel back the curtain. Today I found out that although there probably is a little intravenous drug use, music festivals are about much more. Love, family, friends, hula hoops, and ultimately, fulfilling your dreams.